One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is a nice, clean 1994 Chevy Suburban. I believe this is when they did the Silverado or the Cheyenne still, and not the LS and LT. It's a GMT 400. It's a great looking truck. Also, the rig just had the transmission replaced like about 5,000 miles ago or so. Shifts tight, man. I'm going to do a once around of it, and then I'm going to go around and show you any of the minor flaws and damages and stuff. Not much to talk about. It's a clean truck. And what's, what's up? Are you wanting to work? What? 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 Are you wanting to work? Yeah. Okay. So, clean truck. And I'm going to finish this once around. Got interrupted there. Now, lately, that one, you want to show, you like that one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is a Silverado. I can see on the badge. So, that's the truck. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Call anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. There should be about 40 to 60 pictures of this truck on there. Yeah. So, I'm going to go up close and show you. There's a hole. It's got good tread and everything. Um, there's a hole. I'd say it's got about 60% it's left. There's a hole. I know. Shh. So, there's a little bit of clear coat damage in here. And it still shines, but the clear coat damage is real. Okay. Um, condensation in that light. Chrome's nice and shiny. Wow, Some of this shiny. Faux chrome is coming off. And nice. Still got the spoiler and everything. Underneath it. Truck's uh, clean. <laughs> you looking at me? Okay, thank you for helping. Yeah, clean. Oh, Something. It's old though. <laughs> A couple scratches here and there. Um, scratches. More clear coat here. I know, but hang on. Shh. And it's been clear coat damage all on here. On this top surface here. You can see that especially. Right in there. Um, some clear coat damage. In here. Other than that. Hey, what? Tailpipe? Yeah. Yeah, tailpipe. all right in there. So as far as dings and dents though. There ain't no corrosion, man. This thing's clean. And I'll tell you what. There's a ding right there. Two of them. And a ding here. Maybe two. And that's about a ding here. And a guy could polish it out nicer. Wheel wells are clean. And I got these nice running boards on it. You trying to get it open? Wow, good job. Chrome trim. Around here all looks good. Couple small dings. Factory wheels, of course. Help me. More of the Help me. stuff here. I see. Help me. Comes right off. What? You wanting to get in? Yeah. Okay, you can get in while I work. So, back bumper, nice and straight. Tow package with the trailer brake, trailer brakes and everything. I did not close that all the way. Bumper pads in good condition. Going down this side. It didn't seem to get as bad on the clear coat, but there's something going on right here. And back off, really don't notice. It's a little bit dull. Hi, Vlad. Okay. Man, there's a ding there. One here, and here. And a little bit of clear coat in here again. It's not all dinged up and damaged. It's a really straight truck. That's for sure. All right, here we are at a different time of the evening. I'm going to go ahead and go around it again to where you can see the the way everything looks in a different light and then we'll go ahead and show you the interior under the hood and then head on back and do a test drive in it. Nathan, 406-546-8748 and oneownercarguy.com. Check my channel. There's about 7,000 videos on here. All kinds of cool classic cars and stuff. Um, some I've got in stock and some that I've sold. That's that. Let's go look at the interior. It's a generally clean car. I mean, besides these clear coat issues throughout, and I wanted to show you, meaning on the back of here too. The door panels are clean. Dash is clean. Now all cracked up. There's one single little hairline crack right there. Now, 
It has these front seats, which are clean, but it has the buckets and the console in the back. Nice clean truck. Um, I'll go show you the back. Leather's not all torn up. There's a mark there. The backs of them. Great shape. This. A little bit of fold over starting. Um, floors, again, clean. Could use a shampooing. We don't have a shampooer. Wow, that one looks like it ain't never been a set in. Okay, so, next. And this is where the extra seats that come with it. Stuck. Clean, clean, clean. Console, seats. This one's pretty clean. This one was torn and taped. So I guess they figured those look better. This will come with it. I'll leave it there, spare tire. All that good stuff. I'm gonna show you underneath here. How do I get it? There we go. These window sweeps here have dried up a little bit. And you might be able to get it clicked back on there. I haven't really tried. But, see this one, it goes down and you get it replaced. They aren't cheap to replace. That's just everything I want to show. I want to make sure I'm up front. A um, couple stains over there too. Nothing real big time, but just want to make sure you see it. Same thing there. Like I say, we don't shampoo them. You could use that. I like this. The whole magazine in there. Huh. Back when the cars had ashtrays everywhere. In the front seat, it's in good shape. Nice and clean. Here is your receipt. 2500 bucks. November 4th. 156,000 miles. Replaced. Rebuilt, excuse me. Um, clean up here. It doesn't really hang anywhere. It's in good shape. Um, these things are split open, the sun visors, both of them. Don't you can see that. They always do that. I've got the equalizer stereo. Show you under the hood here. Looks like there's a... It's losing the color, or they... Oh, they put a little piece of metal in there. Probably to toughen it up. Needs a little WD-40 on that hinge. I usually get that, have that done, but... Got new help and we haven't got that done that way yet. Uh, motor's clean, 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 runs and drives great. There's a hole in the muffler, so it needs a muffler, but honestly, I didn't replace it, because it sounds cool. 406-546-8748, name's Nathan, I'm on a car guy, we're going to go for a test drive now, I'm going to hop up here and show you the other thing. It's got some corrosion issue there, and it's not really bad, it's just the top clear coat all burn off, and then the paint burn off, and there's a little patina on the top of it there. Okay, let's go for a ride. Let's do this again. Get the door open. It's loud. You might want to get it not so loud at some point. 161,000 original miles. Original? Yeah, I don't know why I say that. But they are. They're original miles. This thing drives nice. It's smooth. Rides nice. Hate this road. Because I don't want to hit somebody doing it on their bike. Come with half a tank of fuel right now. Might use up some of it. This thing is really snappy on the tranny. It shifts just like it should when it should. I just put it down about halfway or so. And I think I'm not flooring it. I'm not trying to win no land speed race. Just wanted to do the shift. Blah blah blah. 
just wanted to, you to see it shift through all the gears. Beautiful day in the valley. Look at all that lumber. God, that's a lot of lumber. And, well, coming up on my lot here. I'll get you an outro. Show you some of the other cars around. I got lots of cars right now. Um, AC's cold and radio's good. Just can't play any music or nothing. Look at the sun. I mean, it's stinking. What time is it? It's like it's 8:30. It's literally 8:30 right now. And that's the sun. Crazy. Summer up here. It ain't fully dark. Right now, even it's not fully dark till after 10. So, look at all these beautiful cars and trucks, vans, SUVs, MPVs. You name it, we got it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this thing up over by the limo and say goodbye. Oh, well, that's pretty much the last of it. Hope you enjoyed. Give me a call if you got questions 406 546 8748. That's only got 76,000 miles on that GMT 400 there. And sport van. I want to get the sport van going. Got to get some more stuff. Got these vans up here coming up. All kinds. There's a Chevy G30 sport van, wagon, sport van over there. Um, 15 passenger Ford. 12 passenger Ford. Got a new Suburban coming up up there. All kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching. Call me up if you need the Suburban. We'll talk to you. I just... I just noticed these things here. I don't know if they're helping hold it on or they have something else on there. A little bit of discoloring in that factory tent too.